Oh my gosh. This is in broad daylight. There was a little mouse that was coming out and eating the food. And then I was about to film and my cat ran up. Here, let's see if I get my cat. Hey, come on. Come on, Roxy. No. She's a real killer. She kills like five things every single day. The other day I came home and there was a snake in the house, you know, that she brought in. And then I took it outside and then I come back later and there's another snake, like a different color snake that she brought in right after that. So, you know, she's going after that rat. All right, my cat's inside. Let's see if the mouse comes back. Okay guys, I'm finally ready to use my Yonghang air pump to uh, fill up my 4500 PSI carbon fiber tank. So let me tell you a little about all this. So this is a 4500 PSI SCBA tank, scuba tank. And so you need one of these to pump your air guns up if you want to do it easily. These cost about four to $600 online, but you can get one like this for around $100 on eBay. Now they expire after 15 years. So I like to get 2008 or newer. So I got this 2008 tank. That was a manufacturer date. And it's good till 2021. So right now it's only 2018. You do have to get them hydro tested every five years. I got this hydro tested at my local fire extinguisher shop, fire equipment company, or paintball gun shops do them. You'll find the manufacturer date right here. So this was manufactured in 11 of 08. These come in three different sizes. You're looking at a 45 minute tank, a 60 minute tank is a little bigger and they have kind of a little smaller one that is a 30 minute tank. Drager is one of the popular names and another one that makes these is Scott, S-C-O-T-T. -T. Now what I mean by SCBA tank is that's this fitting right here and it's really easy to deal with. This right here is an SCBA high pressure fill station that I got for $40. Now you see how this looks right here? There's another one that looks slightly different. Don't get that but I'll show you where to order these in a second here and I'll leave a link in the description. This part right here is called a CG-347 fitting. But anyway, this will fit your SCBA tank real easily. Just put it on here. Yeah, you wanna make sure there's no junk in there. No dust or anything. Always try to keep your air gun equipment out of the dust and dirt because you know you don't wanna get any dust in your air gun. So I always try to keep this stuff really clean. And that goes on like that. All right, just hand tighten like that and you're good. Now, of course, all this equipment that I'm getting here is rated for 4,500 PSI or more, so you need to make sure on that before you order it. But this whole setup right here cost me under 200 bucks and they're even cheaper now. So now you got your SCBA 4,500 PSI tank. You're ready to rock and roll in the PCP world, okay? Nothing holding you back once you get a setup like this and it makes it a million times easier. They're probably, I've never been on live television before. Yeah, I, I don't think I could ever do a hand pump. But I'll tell you though, there's days I wish I had a hand pump. Like when this doesn't work for some reason. Because I'm a kid and apparently every time, apparently Grandpa just gives me a remote after we watch the Powerball. That brings me to my next guest right here. This is a Yong Hang high pressure PCP compressor. So this only costs $300 shipped to your front door. They do have uh, some different variations. I got a 110 volt, and I'll show you later like the different kinds of these that you can get. But basically you can get a 110 volt, a 240 volt, uh, a few other things. You can get auto shut off, not auto shut off, and, and all that. Alright guys, this right here is Air Velocity Sport. 
and he has a, a great little YouTube channel. I'm going to play a couple of his video excerpts so you can see he brought up a lot of points about safety, which I never would have known. He's the one that clued me in on this moisture filter right there. These guys here. And if you watch his videos, he's got three or four in the Yong Hang. So you're going to see a couple clips from this guy's videos highlighting some of the safety. The important thing about these, though, is that when you get this compressor, you're not going to be ready to go. You can't just plug it in and pump your air tank up uh, or pump your gun up because you can directly hook this up to your gun as well. What it's going to come with is this air hose right here, and here's something to remember. Now, this has threads on it that are, let's say, a half inch long, but the hole inside here is only a quarter inch. If you screw this in as tight as it'll go, it'll just strip the threads out, and that's what I did with my first got my compressor luckily a friend on YouTube the one of my viewers had this block on something and so he sent that to me I'd be able to repair my compressor but basically the first thing you got to remember is don't screw this air hose in too far so basically you're gonna get this outlet hose for the air I guess you'd call that and yeah you just screw your air hose in right here okay all these other holes are already filled in when you get your air compressor and they do give you this little moisture filter there's a cotton filter in there but that's not really good enough uh, regarding safety water in the tank uh, uh, how dangerous water in the tank can be how dangerous water in your guns can be and I agree that is absolutely true well most people like to do and what I did before I even ran my compressor at all or filled up any of my guns was I went on AliExpress and I'll leave a link you can also get these on eBay but it's cheaper on AliExpress I think for like $45 ship these guys here now they call this an oil and water separator at least they do on Alibaba these compressors no matter what you do they're going to high pressure uh, compressors going to create uh, water from the heat build up condensation in the air there's a huge moisture filter okay and it's full of a big cotton thing right now you can get these filled with like special stuff that really really gets the moisture out good molecular sieve so this was purchased on Amazon, 20 bucks. This stuff is supposed to be better than desiccant. I'm using this because I was told uh, that this is a better way to uh, absorb water. And as weird as it sounds, the way you fill your PCP tank with this thing is you have to get one of these right here. Now this is a 1 8 foster fitting, quick disconnect, 1 8 BSPP, okay? Anyway, you have to get uh, an adapter and this right here just pops out like that but anyway you get the idea it's quick disconnect right there so you basically take your moisture filter put that in line to your yong hang right here okay see how that looks ignore that bucket for now okay and then as weird as it sounds you have to take your air hose tank and hook it up to that so you're basically gonna have this giant long thing now you would think the way you fill PayPal tanks is that you just take this hose and you just take that and you stick it into a little special thing that's sticking out of here, but not with these PCP tanks. And I couldn't figure it out at first because I never thought that they'd do it that way, but you take this giant hose and you have to want to get one of these. This is another thing you need to get before you can use your air compressor. And then that's basically plugs you in. That basically plugs you into your tank so you have this big old long thing right there to pump your compressor up now these are scary okay you're dealing with high pressure air this could definitely kill you you want to make sure that your dog and your pets aren't around the horses uh, are probably not going to like this. The reason I'm not doing this in the house is because it is super loud. Now, a lot of you construction guys will know that you don't plug an air compressor into an extension cord ever. You want to plug that directly into the wall or directly into your power, so this is no exception. You need to plug this directly into the wall. Because apparently you're spinning around and apparently every time you get busy. So that's why I came out here and just happened to have an outlet down here at the barn so we're gonna do this outside and the other thing you might not know is it takes a little while to pump up one of these air tanks right here so this one is completely empty I had to mail it or actually I was gonna put it on an airplane but it ended up getting mailed 
And so this is completely empty. I got a digital clock right here and we're gonna see exactly how long it takes the young hang to fill up this bottle. Now I'm just gonna go over real quick the rest of what you need to know when you get this air compressor to get it ready. It recommends number 46 hydraulic oil. Now this is the hydraulic oil they had at Walmart. And I think it does say on the back that this is 46, but there's 46 and 32 I believe. So if you go to Cragen, now called O'Reilly's Auto Parts. they will have the two choices you can just go ahead and grab 46 but the best stuff to use in your young hang compressor is actually this stuff right here okay this is royal purple hydraulic oil and this is the best hydraulic oil for your young hang PCP compressor so hydraulic oil number 46 is not as good as this stuff right here some people guys that know about mechanics apparently saw hydraulic oil number 46 and they said that that was the worst stuff compared to this royal purple so if you really care about your young hang compressor go ahead and grab some royal purple now on the front of the compressor right here it actually comes with an oil cap this right here is a special breathing oil cap that you want to use when you're using it. So you take your normal oil cap out and you replace it with this little breather thing right here. But before you do that, you can go ahead and put your oil in there. Now you actually want to come to the top of the red dot. So there's a red dot in here. Now if you put too much in there, you just do this thing open and that'll drain it right out. The other thing is that you have a couple hoses on the top here. And this is for your water, your water cooling system. And I did run this once in my house. For a short time, I topped off my tank from about 200 bar to 300 bar, and it worked. So it looks like the bottom hose on this air compressor is the one that sucks water in, and the top hose is the one that spits water out. So what I found when I ran this last time is, let's say you had a five gallon bucket, a clean one of course, you don't wanna run any dirt or crap through here. Grab a nice clean bucket, and if I just ran the water out of the bucket and then this spit the water back in that's totally cool that's actually what it's supposed to do but you hear people saying that they need to add ice and stuff to their yong hang water but here's what you do you have a gauge right here that's kind of creepy because it just stays on all the time even when this isn't plugged in so i'm not sure where it gets its power source but this gauge is going to tell you the temperature of your yong hang compressor right there and so if you have a continuous water source i had my faucet dripping into here the water being sucked out by the way it comes with this pump right here and this is what's at the other end of that inlet hose the bottom hose on your yong hang you just drop this right in here have this hanging out like that and then we're gonna fill this with water and if you have the old water going back in here you can do that but the temperature of the yong hang is gonna get higher now here's the trick if you have your faucet dripping into here or a continuous water supply and then the outlet water is just going down the drain or onto the ground then this compressor will stay at exactly 56 degrees indefinitely okay so I ran that thing it was going up and down to I don't remember like let's just say 65 70 degrees and I went ahead and had a continuous water supply going in here in this instance today I'm going to use the hose I'm going to trickle the hose into here have this run and you know this may have to run for 45 minutes and then you watch this thing will be pegged at like 56 or 59 I can't remember what and it'll just stay there indefinitely so as long as you have an independent water source going in here your uh, young hang's gonna stay super super cool but that doesn't mean like if this bottle is gonna take a long time right here I might just run this because it's brand new I might just run it for 30 minutes the first time let it cool down okay you don't necessarily want to run your young hang for maximum time on the first shot maybe break it in a little bit might be a good idea so let's get this party started okay guys you can't see everything I got my moisture filters and back there you can't see but uh, one thing really important is you got to open your tank all the way my tank happens to be empty so if your tanks not empty you're gonna open it up all the way and it's just gonna equalize pressure you know through the whole system there no big no big deal you know make sure your bleed valves closed 
All I gotta do now is get some water right here and we're gonna be ready to hit that button. Okay now, I put my hose on just a little trickle like this and I went ahead and plugged my unit in and you can see that it's pumping water. Nothing, the air compressor's not on or anything, but it's pumping water and it's coming out there. So we're all good on that. So basically I got my water cooling air pump system primed out. Got my continuous water source right here. All right guys, I just got my air tank up to exactly 2,000 PSI, which actually is 150 bar. Okay, that took 30 minutes from empty. So like I said, this is a brand new compressor. I don't necessarily want to run it ragged, so I'm gonna go ahead and let this sit for a second, and we'll come back out here, start the timer again. So that was exactly 31 minutes. So trying to start this timer again and uh, see exactly how long it takes to pump up one of these guys. My oil right here does look maybe a little more dirty, so I'm going to go ahead and while I'm cooling this compressor down, I'm going to go ahead and just change the oil since this is uh, pretty much the first time I used it. Give it a fresh shot of oil before we start this next round of pumping. It's like a 10 millimeter rinse is going to work right here. Yeah, it's barely, you guys probably can't tell, but it's barely even tinged. It's just a little different color than it was when I started, so I'm gonna drain it out. I would say it's like a clear gray color, whereas when I started, it was sort of, sort of a clear orange color. I'll just let this drain out there. It's not gonna take long. This thing only takes a splash of oil, so as soon as you put some down the funnel, you're already done filling it. Definitely some dirty stuff, like, I've already made a mess about three or four different ways since I started this little project here, so definitely something you want to do outside. Taking a little while here. I've waited long enough. So I'm just gonna tighten this, you know, a little bit, and not like crank it down. It'll strip it right out if I do that. Let's get a little boom, boom in the room, room right there. We're all set. Like I said before, when you fill this with hydraulic oil number 46, you want to get it right to the top of that red dot right there. And of course, you want to want it on a level surface, so I made this as level as I could. Yeah, there's no way I'm going to get this in there without a funnel. Uh-oh. Okay, so if this is level, then that looks pretty good right there. Okay, guys, I got this uh, clock. It's really pathetic excuse for an alarm clock from Walmart. But anyway, you can barely see the numbers, 1233, right back where we left off. I'm gonna open my tank. I got my water pumping. And now I'm just gonna leave this air compressor on until this reaches right there, 4,500 PSI. Here we go. I really like it. Like, this is a Yonghang review, okay? And, of course, I like it. I just ran that thing for an hour and ten minutes. 
a little 15 minute break in between. It did what it's supposed to do. You know, I think I might have put a little too much oil in it, so it didn't like blow out the seals or didn't do anything weird like that. And all my fittings, I had like, how many connections in here? Many, many, and it still holds 4,500 PSI of pressure. Super awesome. So it didn't take like a crazy amount of time from zero to 4,500 PSI in one hour and 10 minutes. I bet that you could top your tank off from 200 bar to 4,500 PSI you know, in 30, 45 minutes for sure. So we're gonna try that too a little later on. Okay, not bad. This thing never got above 44 degrees Celsius, whatever that means. Nothing weird going on. So when you pump it up, you know, you get it into the red right here, but you just, the gauge says where you're supposed to go. And so it's fine, worked really good. Like I say, you gotta remember to plug this directly into a wall outlet. Don't use an extension cord. All right guys, I wanna see what's in my filter right here that I got from Alibaba after I filled the tank up. Now I know one end has that sieve material or whatever we're gonna call it, and then one end has some of these. These come with the thing right there, so I'm gonna pull out this, and I, I know that the end of this got moist, so definitely needs to be changed. But I wanna be able to put this on my air tank for the outgoing air that's going into my gun and have a moisture filter for that. Don't want to get rust in my gun tank, that's for sure. All right, there is like a little paper thing down there. It's diamonds. Ooh, I got diamonds everywhere. Darn it. Apparently, that was enough to fill my stuff up to there. Maybe that's why it didn't work too good, but it looks like this is just some like stuff that absorbs moisture, I guess, but I don't think this is the optimum blend. And so, better to use the stuff that's in that video that I just showed you guys. So, all that's left down there is a little piece of paper, but I'm going to go ahead and clean this tube out right here. Make sure it's all dry and clean. So, it looks like I'll just end up packing this in the middle there with a, a couple of these on each end. Okay, I got that super shiny and clean and dry. See that pinch right there? That would be a problem. Moisture will go right through that. So, I cut these down a little bit. I'm going to stuff one of them in there. Okay, so you can see that I'm still, I get that little void right there. So I want to take another one and shove it down there. And hopefully my void will be somewhere else on the other side. Okay, so I shoved that down there. I got two in that end, but it only goes to about right there. So now I have a lot of room for my moisture sucking beads or whatever these are so now I can put this down there fill me all the way up to like right here I got just enough for two of these guys I'm taking one of my patches from my hops Let's see what that does not too bad Perfect. Just hand tighten that baby. Excellent. So that's going to hold 4,500 PSI because I didn't screw my O-ring up or nothing. So there we go. I just changed this and now I can use this to filter my air. That's going into my gun. Keep that stuff nice and dry. I was using my Yang Hang compressor and this little rubber piece popped out. Okay, and so that resulted in me only being able to get to about 4,200 PSI and it wouldn't top off to the 4,500. It was still working pretty good though. I said don't buy the certain kind of fill station that's not like the one I showed you earlier. This is the one that you don't want to buy. It doesn't work. It doesn't seal off. This Yong Hang setup has really been coming in handy. Every morning I top off my tank or every night when I get home before it gets too late and then I'm ready to go the next day. Well, I've gone shooting three days in a row this is gonna be my fourth that wouldn't have been possible without this young hand compressor this is the one I took out of my fill station right here this one right here was in my air compressor and you can see that it just pulled right out I unscrewed it with my hand and so you don't have to use Teflon tape on this but you can but the little plastic seal on there is what holds the air inside it now it turns out this air hose is actually rated to, oh, 6,000 PSI, so that's good. Let me go ahead and screw it into the block here. 
Just gonna barely, okay, I think that's good. I was able to run a 6,000 PSI hose from here with a quick disconnect phosphor fitting. I'll snap this baby in. Bam, now it's up. Okay guys, so the time is 6.02, according to this clock. Put it right there. Now the first thing I'm gonna do is turn the young hand compressor on. Then I'm going to, well you make sure your bleed valve's closed. And then I'm gonna turn the young hand compressor on and then right after that I'm gonna open my tank all the way. Okay guys, I wanted to show you a few different kinds. Now, ignore that 146 because you also have to pay 146 shipping, so it ends up being 300 bucks no matter how you slice it. Basically, there's a simple version that has just that line right there and a little line right there. Now, the version I got has these lines right here, so it's a little different. But anyway, so there's a 110 volt, simple and regular, basically. So you're looking at the regular. There's a simple version, 220 then the standard version, 220. Automatic stop version. Now, some people don't like the automatic stop version because if your meter right there, your pressure meter is off, then it may stop too soon. And so that's why I chose not to get the automatic shut off. 220 automatic shut off, 110 simple version. Once again, it's got just one line right there, two, two lines right there instead of the fancy one that I got. And I'm not sure what that one is, a set pressure. Anyway, if you go on to AliExpress and you type in Yong Hang, you'll find those. Now, this is AliExpress, and I used to think of water separators as these ones right here that used to go in, like my dad's air compressor. But see, this right here is only rated for 150 PSI, whereas this one over here is rated for 4,500 PSI. So definitely, you never want to put something like this in line with your Yong Hang. It, you know, it'll definitely blow up. Okay, one of the sellers on AliExpress has this on their ad. It's something that I wanted to touch on as well. So, I've heard reports of people getting the generic Yong Hangs and they always have to fix something right away. So, I was going to say, and I said this in my last video, always get a Yong Hang brand air pump. And so, their comparison that they put on here is their Yong Hang brand is high quality with zero returns. And the other one is from a small factory cost $95 USD and they tested this machine before it's easily damaged with a 50% return rate they're calling the generic Yong Hang obsolete so don't buy that I already said that and then I saw this right here where they compared the two on AliExpress so go ahead and get a brand name Yong Hang you'll be happier less repair so this right here is the exact one that Air Velocity Sport got I believe and it is quite a bit bigger than the one I got so I'd probably recommend this one you can also order this on Amazon for $89 I saw. Pretty nice. Alright, so that concludes my Yong Hain air compressor review. I've had it for about three months. I've used it a lot this last couple weeks. And it's been a huge game changer. I'm able to go shooting in the forest, which is a one hour drive for me. I can have a full tank of air, shoot in the forest, and then come back. And that night I can top off my air compressor and go back to the forest the next day and that's been a huge thing for me i've been able to go shooting like five days in a row which would have cost me twelve dollars a piece if i would have had to do that at the scuba shop plus uh with all that driving i didn't have time to go to the scuba shop uh, or the energy so my yong hang has been great nothing's really failed yet i had to change the pressure gauge on there and that's about the only thing yeah, I definitely recommend getting one of these and get yourself one of those carbon fiber tanks like I talked about in the beginning of this video and you'll be all set.